Today is math lesson 37. So let's go ahead and review. So yesterday we learned the 100 number chart and how to fill in missing pieces of the 100 number chart. So remember when you're counting going towards the right, you start to count by ones, but when you count going down, you are going to count by tens. So let's go ahead and fill in this chart here. So I'll start with my 20 up here in the top left corner. So I'm gonna finish it this way. So what would I put here? 21 and then I'll put 22. 23 is the end. All right, so here, what would I put here? I hope you don't say 24. I have to go for my 10. So if you're ever unsure, always look at what's on the side or above so that you can figure out. So remember, we're going by 10s when we go down. So if I had 20 here, 10 more from 20 would be 30. So now let's finish in the rest. So 31, 32 is done, 33. All right, next here. So again, by the 10s, 20, 30, 40. 41 is done. 42, 43, 50 is done. So 51, 52. And always check to make sure it's correct. Check it both ways. Yeah, yeah, yes. And so it all looks good, okay? All right, so also what we're gonna learn is how to add plus 10 to a number. Now this is pretty easy because it's just like you're counting by tens, except it was written down in like a map fact form. So I have 20 plus 10. 10 more than 20 is 30. It's like counting by tens. 70 plus 10, that's 10 more than 70 is 80. 80 plus 10, 10 more than 80, 90. And 10 plus 10, 10 more than 10, 20. So that's pretty simple. At least I think it is, but it's just like you're counting by tens. All right. So today we are going to learn what's called pears. I'm sure you've used that word before. I'm not, I'm not talking about pear like the fruit. This is something different. It's actually a homonym, but anyway, so pears. So whenever we talk about something that comes in a pear, when you think about it, what are things that you say, I will get a pair of? Think about it, I will wear a pair of, you could say pants. I will get a pair of earrings. What do you have a pair of? What are some body parts that you have a pair of? You have a pair of ears. You have a pair of eyes. You have a pair of hands. You have a pair of feet. A pair of arms, a pair of legs, and we'll just stop there, okay? And we'll and so here I want to put shoes as well, a pair of shoes and socks, okay? So all of these are what we call pairs. As you can see, I have the number two. Pairs means the number of two. It's two of them together, a pair. They don't come separate from one another, but they come together. So when I said I have a pair of earrings, that means I have two earrings because I have two ears. If I say I have a pair of shoes, all the shoes we buy come in pairs, meaning they come as two. When we say socks, same thing. All socks comes in pairs of two. A pair means a total of two. Automatically together. So what we're going to do is draw four pairs of socks. Let's do four pairs of of socks, okay? So, we're gonna go ahead and draw our four pairs of socks. I'm not an artist, guys. This looks like a bowling pin, but we're gonna call it a sock, okay? All right. Okay, so that's my four pairs of socks, okay? So, I hope you're looking at this good because guess what? This is not four pairs. No, this is just four socks. One, two, three, four. And if you know how to do pairs, you're probably like, yeah, I knew that. And if not, it's okay. I'm gonna show you exactly why this is not considered four pairs. So this is just four single socks. Remember, pairs come in twos. They don't come in ones, singular. Pairs come in twos. That's why I put the number two here. That's why I say keep that in mind. Okay, so this is only four socks, that's not four pairs. I will show you how to properly draw four pairs. So this will be important for you to know whenever you are writing in your book, 
This is the way that I teach students how to draw pairs because it's easier and you won't get confused if you just start drawing all kinds of stuff, but you're not, you're not marking the pairs. All right, so four pairs. All right, so that's one. Remember, pair comes in two. And two, guess what I'm gonna do? Circle that to show that that's one pair. That's one pair of socks, okay? Let's keep going because we need four pairs. So one. Yes, this is just not good drawing, but yeah. Two, two pairs, again. Okay, next, three pairs. How many we need? Four. Then, oh, that's a big one. And that is four pairs. So this is what four pairs looks like. Socks come in, I mean, pairs come in two, which are socks two. And so when you draw them out, you draw them in twos, circle it, and then label it so that you can keep track of how many you are drawing. So we have, this is four pairs, but how many socks do I have? Now that's a different thing. When I'm asking how many socks, now you can count by ones. Pairs, we count them in twos, but when I say how many socks, you count them by ones. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that was a total of eight socks. Four pairs makes eight socks. So sometimes the book will ask, it will say, can you draw seven socks? Circle the pairs. Or it will tell you exactly how many pairs you need to draw. So say if the book told me to draw three socks, circle the pairs. Okay, so now the book is saying draw three socks. Now let's circle the pairs. So let's draw three socks. So one, two, three. Yeah. Now let's circle the pairs. So remember, our pair comes in how many? Two. So that's one. One. This is not a pair. If it's one by itself, it is not a pair. So we're going to X that out because it's not a pair. So how many pairs can I make from three socks? Just one pair. Okay, so you will practice that in your workbook today on page two. So take your time and we will continue to do this all week. So it's okay if you may not understand it clearly today, that's okay. But just remember that pairs mean two. So that's our math lesson. You can do page 37A.